Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all well. In today's reading we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of the year. And we have a lot of major arcana coming through in your reading, right? We have Justice, Wheel of Fortune, Strength, Hierophant, The Sun, Judgment, Death, The Lovers, The Magician. You can safely say that this is a destined, fated meeting. I say that because of Justice, Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Justice upright can be karma right? Paired with the Wheel of Fortune can be a fated, destined event. And I see here with Justice and Wheel of Fortune, this union, this meeting, I don't think you see it coming. Eight of Wands can sometimes represent Cupid's arrows, right? When it comes to love, but Eight of Wands is fast movement. So I'm getting this as a sudden, fated meeting. It's meant to be Destiny, fate is definitely playing a part in you coming together with this person. Another interesting coincidence I see here, I'm jumping ahead of myself, but we have justice, which is Libra, right? Libra season is October. Wheel of Fortune is number 10, right? And then for how you'll meet, we have sun judgment. So that is... Leo season, which is number seven, eight, and judgment, which is October, November. So for time period, I'm getting for one fall and winter will be very significant uh, for this meeting, but also I'm getting summer, specifically July. So anywhere from July to December, is when you may meet this person. Their personality, we have Strength, Hierophant, King of Pentacles. So we have Taurus here back to back in their energy. We have a Leo. So we have two fixed signs representing this person's personality. They can be stubborn. Let's get through the shadow aspects of this person. Yes, very stubborn, um, like the bull. Yeah, once they make up their mind, they will not budge here. And that is the downside of this King of Pentacles. They can be a bit slow moving. If you're impatient, that may get on your nerves and can have a bit of a pride issue. <laughs> Ego, that is coming through here as well with strength. Okay, now the positives. For one, this person is likely to be physically fit, strong, with strength, but also inner wisdom, with hierophant and willpower coming through in their personality. This person is very strong. This is exactly who you need in a time of crisis. People may rely on this person for their counsel, their wisdom, with hierophant. Regardless of age, this is someone who's wise beyond their years, right? most likely grew up quickly and learned a lot of lessons early in their childhood. They are business focused, a businessman, businesswoman. They like to, this is not one to break rules or step out of their comfort zone too often. So I am, I'm getting that. This is someone who's an introvert, likes to spend a lot of time at home alone very down to her earth or, and humble I'm likely someone who likes to garden you know read a book those sort of things physical touch can be a love language here also this person is not one to commit easily but once they do they're in it for the long haul they're extremely loyal hierophant king of pentacles this is not one to leave something midway. So if they commit to something, they will see it through till the end. But yes, I am getting someone who's religious, most likely. Religious or spiritual, whatever your beliefs are is what this person will be. Because I'm, you're coming through as quite similar to this person in some ways. This person can be a workaholic, 
If this person travels for work, because it's a general reading, I'm just giving you messages I'm getting. Do you see how his toes are pointed towards the Hierophant? Regardless of where this person goes, where they travel to, they'll always be committed to you. Because his his focus, where, where his toes are pointed usually signify where one's headed, where their attention lies, right? Um, where they're intending to go so yeah they may be distracted here and there by their work uh, specifically but their loyalty will always remain with you towards you your children this commitment this marriage because i am seeing someone who will want marriage they're very traditional so they will be quite traditional in their approach they'll want to court you date you and then they will want a higher level of commitment here. But this is a workaholic. You may have an issue with that. I'm not sure though, because you're coming through as quite independent, someone who has a lot of goals, aspirations for yourself. So I sort of see you both doing your own thing. So maybe you don't, you won't have an issue with this person's dedication to their work this person's financially well off or they will be in this union they'll work they'll, if they're not there they'll work their way up to a position of authority for a lot of you it's likely they are because strength is leo right and paired with the hierophant this can be a teacher of some sort or someone who is guiding or leading others for what they do this person can also own their own business. Whatever they do, they're stable and likely, I'm getting it to mature energy. This person likely has their own home. They're well off is what I'll say about that. How you'll meet, we have the sun and judgment. Again, Leo coming through, right? So sun rules our fifth house. Fifth house is creativity, um, it can rule children, parties, celebration. This is some sort of gathering. Some of you literally, we have Sun and Scorpio. Some of you, it's your birthday party. <laughs> but I'm getting a sort of a celebration theme around this meeting where there's music. That's what I'm getting with judgment. There will be music playing, you're enjoying life. It's some sort of social gathering. <laughs> Did you see that, Scorpio? Uranus, unexpected. You cannot predict this meeting. Long distance. Some of you, yes. But short distance or long, there's distance. Or you're traveling for some sort of event. But it's unexpected. You can't predict this. I'll get you two more, anything that they want to say to us. How will Scorpio meet this person? Social gathering with music, yes. Some of you, you will be outdoors. Celebrating something, music festival, I'm not sure. But it's an instant it's an instant attraction with sun and judgment. Judgment can be awakening, right? A wake up call. Let's get you one more. Some of you, you will meet through school. Mm, I want one more. I was getting work school, some sort of gathering, perhaps with people you work with, I'm not sure. Traveling for leisure. Okay, those are the scenarios I'm getting. Co-workers was wanting to flip through. This is for fun, okay? These are just homemade decks, it's for entertainment. 
it's a general reading, so it's hard to predict, right, when and where. But it is being confirmed that it is some sort of social gathering. For a lot of you, it's music. The restaurant, bar, I'm not sure. Do I make this up? At a party? At night? Let's get you one more. Anything that they want to tell us. Some of you through family in the fall time, but you will meet this person in person. This person in person. A lot of you, I'm not getting it's an online thing, but it is. We did have Mercury coming through. Can be you traveling for some sort of family event. Where you'll be at in your life when you meet them. We have a death, Queen of Wands. Well, you're feeling very confident, some of you, with death. You may have ended some sort of chap, so it's a new beginning. Um, but you're feeling in your, you're in power um, because you are Scorpio. So death coming through here. Yeah, you've accepted everything about yourself. You're embracing who you are, and yeah, it's very independent. Some of you will be, you know, you can be some sort of businesswoman. We have businessman, entrepreneur here but very focused on your passions, your goals. Your focus will sort of be yourself, but it's not when you're feeling down or depressed or you're you know, going through challenges. It's in a time when you're feeling very good about yourself. You're glowing, you're shining. Queen of Wands always attracts a lot of attention. So yeah, you will be flourishing in your life when you meet this person, most likely center of attention, whether you want that or not. So their reaction for when they first lay eyes on you, this is insane. We have the lovers and two of cups, which is interesting because your oracle card, we have all about you and giving and receiving. Um, There's some heavy cards in this deck as well with the oracles, but you got two of the more lighthearted, I'd say, but positive oracles. And you have the king and queen of pentacles. I'd say one of the best readings for sure, hands down. But yeah, th this is love at first sight for this person. I'm not sure if it's an instant attraction for you or if... Mm, I think this person will be the one pursuing you. I think you will be attracted, but you won't trust this person. That's what I'm getting for you. But yeah, a lot of eye contact is how you'll be able to tell this is your person. Um, um, intense eye contact. So there's that chemistry and this person will be watching you where, whatever gathering party this is. Their eyes will be following you around um, because of the... It's that chemistry. Whatever the pheromones are, I'm getting that. They, they can't help themselves. It's almost you're all they can focus on i'm getting it's mutual though two of see if it was ace of cups it's that one eye in this deck but here it's two people staring deeply into one another's eyes yeah i think it will be mutual but you will be a bit guarded when you meet this person for how they'll pursue you, they'll pursue you like no other. We have Magician Four of Wands. While they'll want stability commitment with you, they'll be very sure about that. But this Magician has all the tricks in their hat, right? We have the Wands, Cups, Swords, and Pentacles. This person will do whatever it takes to woo you to get your attention. Pretty much they'll do whatever it takes for you to be in a commitment a relationship with them i am getting someone who's quite physical touch can be a love language acts of service gift giving um, i'm getting those three mainly so this can be someone who will give you flowers they're very romantic they'll want to wine dine take you out on dates communication flirt with you that is sort of the vibe i'm getting here but this person will want children with you 
or to set up home family, live together, move in together. That will be their intention when pursuing you. Why they'll want to be in a relationship with you. We have Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, it can be your co-workers um, you meet through school or work. And say even if you are co-workers, you can meet after work drinks through other people, you know, right? Whatever your scenario is. But they see that you're extremely hardworking. You're very dedicated to some sort of goal project. Um, this is likely once you get to know each other, right? The reason they'll want to be with you is, for one, they see you as their other half. You're very similar in a lot of aspects, especially the way you handle um, finances, uh, your day-to-day -day life. This person thinks you'll blend well here together when it comes to, you know, sort of mixing, joining your day-to-day -day life, some sort of routine here. I'm getting strong Virgo energy. Yeah, they see you as someone who's loyal, dedicated, someone who will make a great wife, husband, homemaker. You're very nurturing, grounded, mothering is what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles. And very loyal. And this person thinks you can work through any of life's problems together. You see how he's focused on this one pentacle and perfecting this? I'm getting this as your relationship. And you both may bond over, I think, similar work ethic, values, morals with the Hierophant. Same religious or spiritual beliefs, that is what you're bonding over. This person finds you very beautiful, but you're not arrogant about yourself. You're humble. So I'm getting very natural beauty, right, with Taurus. Come here what kind of relationship you'll have. We have Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior, but it's also someone who doesn't give up, right? Um, someone who's very persistent. They have an end goal and they won't stop before they reach it. So that will be this relationship, no matter what you go through, right? Ups and downs, you won't give up on one another. I'm seeing children. <laughs> I know some of you won't want children. You can have pets, whatever your preference is. But I do see one to two children here. I see specifically a girl coming through, but if it's two, I see a boy and a girl. But even as the years, the time passes between the both of you, do you see the progress? We have Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. And you see how he's holding on to that wand? Even after all these years, the passion remains. You'll always feel very attracted to one another, regardless of what happens. That chemistry will remain. Getting strong soulmate twin flame <laughs> vibes from this. We have giving and receiving. Yeah, this person won't be a taker. I'm getting equal give and take here. You both bring a lot to the table here. So I'm seeing two people that appreciate one another. You'll appreciate one another and just gratefulness overall is what I'm getting. But this person will be all for you, all about you. You're all they can see, especially in this first meeting, love at first sight. They're love struck. Let's get more about their personality. I won't be surprised if the lion comes through. That's what I'm getting. Someone who's very protective. Ooh. We have sea serpent. Uh, I wasn't quite ready with the shuffle. So if that comes through again. Vulture. Vulture, there can be something that's dark. I'm getting tall, dark hands. But something that's a bit intimidating about this person. 
they are very mysterious in some ways. Phoenix. Very intense energy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Lion. It's the strong silent type Scorpio. It's a bit of a night owl I'm getting. Or just signifying your meeting at night. Yeah, this is a silent protective type. Not one to talk too much. And they'll be very possessive, protective, right? Lions can be territorial. Let's read this, the vulture. I believe the vulture is air, right? Yeah, we have guardian, which is interesting with the lion. And purifile, purifile, purifier, essential for rebalance. Yeah, the vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. When in balance, we have clarifies, reveals wisdom. When out of balance, dramatic, aggressive. I'm getting there in balance. It's paired next to the Hierophant. We have clarifies, reveals wisdom. Yeah, very wise. I'm getting that strong, mysterious, right? We had intriguing, perhaps very misunderstood. This person does not want to participate in trauma. So if any, for example, if someone's saying something bad about them, you know, negative remarks, this person's not one to react easily. But once they do get angry, watch out, right? With the lion. But I'm getting this isn't someone, Scorpio, that anyone can come and disturb their balance. Yeah, this person, there's something about this person that's intimidating, Scorpio. Sorry, the video cut out there. With the vulture and lion, yeah, there's something intimidating. It can be their physical appearance. It can be their status. It can be a bit stoic. This person can be too serious sometimes with Vulture. Whereas you're the more life of the party here with the Queen of Wands. You're the more social one, it seems, out of the two. It's 